There you go. Okay, these people, man. They're driving and they try to do that. They're like, trying to run you over. Light change and getting across the street, you still continue to drive. But look, NYPD over there too. See the, see the kind of threats they like, like to sell, send you? Again, just showing you guys exactly what it is that they do. Light change, I'm walking across the street. Guy in the gray van, you know, like you're gonna run me over. NYPD coordinated. These are, these are coordinated attacks. The New York Predator Department. And they'll continue to do that. They'll continue to engage in that sort of, these sort of activities, right? These sort of subliminal threats because they're too coward to come out of their car and threaten me themselves. So this is how they try to, you know, get away with basically, you know, with their criminal mindset, right? They are, like I said, uh, well, I, I'm not the one who originally said that. I think. I, I can't remember who said it. it was either Dr. Ritchie or Dr. Uma Johnson that these police, police in America, they are an authorized federal, uh, a federally authorized gang because they operate as gangs, right? They operate as gangs. And when they do shit like this and I talk about this stuff, you know, like I said, I've studied them. Oh, yeah, buddy. <laughs> He's taking the finger in his ears. Looking at me <laughs> with the dreads. <laughs> yeah. You know you, they think I'm, I'm afraid? I'm not. If shit, they want to rub me over, go ahead. Go ahead. Just do it, right? That's what they said. Just do it. <laughs> right? So, you, you know, the fear based conditioning. You know, once you start to expose it, they'll come after you, big time. And, um, but like I said, this, this is, this is uh, not just about me. It's about future generations of, of uh, black youth, black young men and women, as well as those present today, right? Because, you know, we as a people, particularly as a black person, right? We need to tell our children the truth. That in America, these white, these white races in the police force, their job is to criminalize you, okay? And they'll use covert method, overt method, anyone, and then they'll use those amongst us that look like us, right? Who are willing to do anything for money, anything for a, a better paying job or, or, or what have you, right? They've always been sambos. All right, and they use this is why they keep us economically suppressed. Right, you starve them enough, you can give them the little crumbs and have them be your minions, have them do things to, to people that look like them. You know, you got to understand the white racist playbook, you know, and I'm just I'm grateful that they are those of us who do understand it, you know? And there are those of us, uh, this is myself, to expose it, you know? Like I said, they'll, they'll run their psychological uh, um, labeling when they want to, you know? They'll, they'll definitely run it whenever they want to, which is fine. I'm gonna turn my back in a second. He did, engaging in that type of targeting. So, <laughs> you know, like I said, I spot them. First, he walks up to me looking down at his shoes. You know? So, yep. That's what they've been doing. Oh, here you go again. Not in service. Okay. Also, with the retaliation, right? If you guys see whenever, whenever they um, do this heavy uh, uh, type of targeting, Right, I'm, I'm here at this bus stop. They all send uh, other buses that, um, you know, other sets, other buses that you'll see, not in service. Sometimes a few of them will go by. Yeah, now you're walking away. Walk away, buddy. Walk away. <laughs> Walk away. Trust me. You're better off walking away. Walking back that way. All right.
All right. Well, let me go listen back. Let me go back and listen to my regularly scheduled music program.